Today I will tell you about several interesting objects that I observed in Istanbul during a three-day seminar. This is the Foreign Visitors View channel and my name is Tatiana Andreeva. The seminar was held at the Hilton Bosporus Hotel, which I will tell you about at the end. Therefore, all objects I visited are located around and mainly to the south of the hotel. The guests of the hotel can behold the Bosporus Street from its windows. That's where I went filming on the first evening. Three objects with the same name, Dalma Bahçe, are marked on the map at the show. Bahçe is Turkish for garden. Dalma means something like to fill, to pour in. Dalma Bahçe can be translated as field in garden. But first let me tell you what I saw along the way. I leave the hotel and find that the path to the sea consists of several terrace floors. On the right is Jamil Tupuzlu Open Air Theatre, which is a popular summer outdoor venue. The theatre primarily hosts music concerts in various genres of local and international performers. Istanbul Congress Center is a multi-level complex which was built to host the 2009 International Monetary Fund and World Bank Group Annual Meeting. The terrace by the Congress Center is used for walks and sports. However, this open space is quite windy. The next building is Istanbul International Convention and Exhibition Center. It hosts important conventions, fairs, concerts and exhibitions, as well as social and cultural events. The statue in front of the convention and exhibition center is called Love and Peace Monument. I descend and find myself at the level of the entrances to the open theater. More stairs awarded by the local cat. I move through a parking lot and come out to the Kader Galar Kadesi, the street going down to the sea bank. The name of the street is translated as Galleys. This is probably justified given the proximity of the street. Here is the tallest building in the neighborhood, which is the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. This one also beholds the Bosporus. Down by the street going along the Bosporus, there is Vodafone Park, which is a multi-purpose stadium. It is the home ground of Besiktas Football Club. It has a capacity of over 40,000 spectators. It was very noisy at the stadium and around it. The police even asked me to show my back when approaching the territory. Of the three objects with the name Dalma Bakhce, the palace was built the earliest. After that, in 1853, the construction of a mosque began and the clock tower was built as late as the 1890s. All three buildings were built in the Baroque and Neo-Baroque styles, and the representatives of the Armenian architectural dynasty Palians were engaged in the construction. Dolma Bakhce Mosque has twin minarets and is distinguished by the huge stone arcs on its facades which are cut with large windows allowing light to fill the interior. Initially, Sultan Abdul Majid decided to move to the Talma Bakhce Palace and to have it built in Baroque style. Subsequently, his queen mother commissioned the construction of the mosque in Baroque style as well.
the entrance to the territory is arranged with special precautions. Bags are checked here and the use of gimbals is forbidden. But those who have passed the security can relax while looking at the Bosporus. The clock tower was added to Dalma Bakhche Palace and it stands in front of its treasury gate. Designed in the Ottoman neo-baroque style, the four-sided, four-story tower has a height of 27 meters. The construction of the Dalma Bakhche Palace was started because Sultan Abdul Majid I got bored with his old medieval palace, so he commissioned a baroque palace that could compete in sophistication with European residences. The territory of the palace is huge. Its northern gate can be seen from the street of the same name, Dalma Bakhche Kadesi. It was in the Dalma Bakhche Palace that on March 29, 2022, one of the rounds of the Russian-Ukrainian negotiations took place. Next to the palace is a museum of painting. Across the street is the University of Architecture. Although the streets are still crowded and noisy, it gets dark quickly, and they walk up Suleiman Seba Street, which ends in Machka Park. I walk along the path laid by the navigator and find a subway station, which is also a cable car station. Machka Park is large, beautiful and very green, with numerous stairs and playgrounds, but I had to explore it in the dark, and the path led me to the bridge over the road along which I was descending, and glowing hotels were all around. If you go to the south-southwest, you can soon visit the famous Taksim Square, but I will talk about this next time. And we will also be happy to share our impressions of those less visited places of Turkey, which we explored during our extensive trip a few years earlier. Write in the comments if you are interested. Tatiana Andreeva and the Foreign Visitors View channel were with you. Subscribe and smash the like button. See you in the next city or country.